Is it French? Is it Dutch? Is it French? Is it Dutch? It's St. Martin. Uh, oh, we have a new friend. Check this out. Ooh. Celebrity reflection and a super yacht. Hello, celebrity reflection. Nice of you to join us today. We've just made port here in St. Martin. It's like the mountains. Uh, like I said, it's a French and Dutch place. I don't know what we're going to get into today, but we got to get into something. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Welcome to St. Martin. Here we go. Four thirty PM. Next destination. Nowhere. Norfolk, Virginia. So here we are on the pier in St. Martin. Got options to date. I uh, got this map here, which is helpful. I'm gonna try to find the hop on hop off bus and see if they still have spaces. But if not, there's a water taxi from here to downtown Phillipsburg. So uh, it seems like you can get downtown pretty easy via water taxi, which I've never done. So I don't know, we're winging it. Winging it in St. Martin. Oh, I know you want it. I'll give it to you. Here's another look at the celebrity reflection, this time on the ground. Hmm, what's so noisy behind me? Oh, look at this. They're doing some sort of work on the Carnival Pride. All right, fourth we go. It's the constant battle versus the seawater. Saltwater is horrible for metal. Got to paint, repaint, paint, repaint. It's the only way you can keep the rust off these ships and Sometimes it feels like it's a losing battle. I think I how many gallons of paint they use a year here. I just noticed this symbol at the back of the ship here. I think that means there's missiles on board. What is that? Any uh, nautical nerds out there? Does that mean anything? I was just seeing it just kind of spitballing. Looking around here. You know what this port needs? They've got it. They've got it. Diamonds International. That's right. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Jewelry, jewelry, more jewelry. Shark is bar, duty free. Statue of some man. Let's go see who the statue is of. Dr. Albert Claudius Claude Wathley. It's a little bit hard to read, but uh, here's a statue of the good doctor. Claude, and then there's also a little plaque for a Bonaire boat builder over here. Known as Bochi. John Philip Frederick Crane, St. Martin. Let's see if we can get a picture. Am I doing it? Is this it? Are we doing it? And so there's the cruise ships. So I took a right. This is where transportation is. I know this is where the hop on hop off bus picks up. I saw that on their website, but I'm not really sure where you buy tickets for it at. So this could be an exercise in futility. Cause this just looks like a terminal. It doesn't look like any ticket sales. Hmm. Not good. Not good. The hop on hop off bus is here though. Let's see if they can tell me where to get tickets. Seems the hop on hop off. Something you gotta book through the cruise line, which I didn't see I didn't see that for our excursion. But uh there might be an agent on one of the docks that could sell me a ticket. So I'm gonna go back and look for that. Probably worth mentioning while I'm down this little sideway here, there are public restrooms, so Again, if you come, if you come past, you know, the cruise ships are there, you come here, you'd hang a right to get to the public restrooms. Certainly a cautionary tale, like, I mean, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but once you figure out what you want to do, maybe check with the cruise line first. Uh, but in most of these places, hop on, hop off is available outside of the cruise line, but maybe it's limited here, so I don't know. 
Okay, so I just talked to Shore Excursion. Uh, these guys have the exclusive lock. Celebrity, dang you. Celebrity's got the exclusive lock on the hop on, hop off today here in St. Martin. So we'll just put that idea to rest and uh, water taxi. That could be fun. I love being on the water. So water taxi to downtown Phillipsburg. Let's do that. Deja vu. No? Yeah? Deja vu. Vuja day. <sighs> okay, so we're back to the port again. You, you know what this port needs? You know what would really set it off looking at all these things? Diamonds International. Come on, that joke's too easy. Diamonds International. Okay, I did see kiosks for the water taxis. Let's head up that way. Assuming this will be open later. A little Tortuga. Is this the most popular rum cake in the Caribbean? I think so. There's a lot of others. Uh, small shops I've seen on the islands, but uh, I think Tortuga's got got the lock. Then we got St. Martin Guava Berry Colada and Rum Shop. And then right next to that, the water taxi. Phillipsburg Shopping Beaches. I think we go to Phillipsburg. Seven bucks adults round trip. Crew members, $3.00 three and under for free. I wonder if I can tell them that I'm that. Looks like they accept cash only here, which I have cash, so that works. But have your cash. And there's some more shopping up here. We'll look at that later. So this is where the water taxi goes. Great Bay Beach goes to the boardwalk and to the shopping center. Round trip, seven bucks. And it catches uh, right down the way. Seven bucks, it's not a bad deal. You can get to a beach. Get to a boardwalk, you can get to shopping. Oh, we'll check it out, we'll check it out. It's 9.28, but of course in the islands. It's five o'clock somewhere. Get a little local beer, fruity drink. Pandora, Crocs, more jewelry. I wonder how, there's, like jewelry's gotta be a huge business on these cruises, or you wouldn't have all of them. It does look like you got some straw market type shopping, but it uh, looks like we hang the left here for the water taxi. This is a statue with a porpoise, <laughs> or five. Where are they dolphins? I don't know the difference. Dang you celebrity. I wanted to hop on, hop off. I like a ho-ho. Water taxi though, new experience, that'll be fun. Get your tickets over here also, if you didn't get them there. It's warm here, I just wanna, I'm glistening already. Uh, that's the Caribbean, baby. I think we're getting close. We got it all, guys. We got a tax and duty free. This is definitely your shopping port here today. I know the biggest jewelry and watch out for downtown. They are called Diamonds in Turkey. Good that side of the island, right where you are, it is 16 square miles. The French side, it is 21 square miles. Between the Dutch and the French, we have 112 different nationalities living here. Ba, ba, ba. Whence we came. It's pretty cool. They run every 15 minutes. They say make sure about a half an hour before you want to get back to try to grab the taxi. So there's three destinations over here, but I think there's only one water taxi stop. Uh, let me see if I can describe the destination. This is like a beach area. Then you go a little deeper into some shopping and then you've got a boardwalk over here. So I think those are the destinations that they're talking about. I tell you what, just from first glance, this island looks pretty nice or like this beach area, but it, they, I think they need one thing. They already got it, Di Diamonds International. It's funny, the boat ride over there, just like, make sure you go to Diamonds International to get your freebies at Diamonds International. We got stuff for you, Tanzanite. I don't even know what Tanzanite is. Attempt to catch that hop on, hop off bus. No breakfast, no caffeine. I do spy a coffee shop, so let's go get some local coffee. Hi guys. How you guys nice view over here. Great. Okay, if you guys are going to... Live lobster, I mean I prefer mine cooked, but live lobster, steak from the grill, souvenir. On the beach. I don't see the boardwalk though, so I'm not sure. Coffee lounge. This looks like the spot for me. 
It is right next to Big Bastards. How about that for a name? The waffles, coffee selections. I like that they got sizes. Sizes. All right, well, at least I should get the day going before we get into the exploring. It's pretty delicious. So here's a look at the food at the coffee lounge. This is really more than just a coffee spot, which is what I thought in the beginning, but breakfast, lunch, uh, burgers, poke bowls, and then they also have a variety of drinks. So it's a bar also. Look at all these, all these drinks that you can get. Then of course you've got a great selection great selection of coffee. It's really an interesting place. I think uh, I think I might actually have lunch for breakfast. It is 10 o'clock, so uh, I'm gonna finish my coffee, have something to eat, and then we'll continue exploring, exploring the area. Now that's a burger. So oh, yeah, this looks great. All right, so let me tell you about this place. Uh, at first blush, it just looks like a coffee place but it's actually a coffee place and a food and bar establishment called The Bold Buddha. Uh, I got to talk a little bit to the owner of the restaurant and an interesting story from Japan, but she's lived here on the island for 24 years. And so you end up with this crazy Caribbean Asian fusion. They've got lobster rolls, poke bowls. Uh, I can't recommend this place enough. Come to the coffee lounge, come to Bold Buddha and tell Seema that Tony sent you. Um, yeah, it was, it was great. It looks to be like a pretty common experience. A lot of these restaurants, they've got beach access, and so you can get some sort of beach combo where you can get chairs and then food from the restaurant and then a spot on the beach. Back at the beginning, though, there is some public beach where you can grab a spot on, so uh, a lot of people out on the beach today. OMG, I'm thirsty beach bar and restaurant right next to the Dirty Sanchez crew bar. I wonder if they give a discount for the crew. There's just so much stuff over here, all in the shadow of the cruise ships, which is nice. Dirty Sanchez bar, 6.95 mojitos and margaritas, make it a double. Oh, make you see double. How about that? And Phil single, that's funny. I don't know what to say about this one. Like it's been, it was windy in Aruba and Curacao. It's not super windy here. It's breezy in the best way. So I'm loving this walk along the beach. Just for context, I, I took a right, took a right when I came off of the water taxi. So if you're trying to figure out where I'm at, I'm to the right of the water taxi. I just want to point out that looks like there's a handmade cigar spot here. And just uh, for perspective, there's the cruise ships. Got some beach volleyball. All right, I'm gonna turn back around and then try to hit the center of Phillipsburg to uh, see the shopping on the main street. We got a French supermarket here. They got some of that charcuterie. Charcuterie. More coffee. Wow, this place. I'm afraid to go in there. I can see goodies from the distance. But uh, I think we can cut through to the main street here. There's a drugstore down here for people looking to hit the drugstore. This place isn't open yet, but again, you can catch some of the European vibe. These are German dishes here, Spätzle, schnitzel sandwich, schnitzel burrito, Wiener schnitzel. Hmm. My uh, European heritage is being peaked by by that menu. Let's see what's on the main street here. So you got little tight roads here, so careful when you cross the street. They're only one car wide. Maybe it's just one way, so you know which way to look. St. Martin is known for its shopping. I mean, I'm just on this little side street and uh, check out these brands. Michael Kors right there across the street. Fully branded Calvin Klein. Psycho Bunny. Levi, not a major brand, but definitely you're going to get some schnicky snacks. You got the front street market there. Gouda. 
there is a we are on the dutch side gouda is one of those things gosh look at that that looks delicious gouda cheese croissant it really is a curse being an unashamed fatty the fact that cheesy bread will make me salivate is uh could be a character flaw i don't know but it's just the way it goes of course we got some of that dutch pottery look at this la dutch saint martin oh wow i'm not going into any of these stores today i've already i've already bought dutch stuff la dutch wow so cool i have kind of more localized shops it's a jewelry shop that aruba curacao saint martin saint thomas uh, selling the brands Milano Diamond Gallery Bretling I've seen that in a few of these places that we've stopped of course Effie Effie is all over the place that was halfway down the beach link there is shopping down this other half so we'll go see some of these other other stores but then you also have this cool view of the courtyard or courthouse uh, let's take a look at the courthouse there you go there's the courthouse here in Phillipsburg And then, uh, like I said, there's a whole another, whole another street of shopping out there. Kay's Jeweler, another cigar spot. So again, if you're trying to find some cigars in the Caribbean, uh, this has Cuban cigars at the Cigar Emporium. Just wild, just tight streets. A shopper's paradise for sure. Diamonds by Bedazzled. Oh, this is interesting. I know uh, I know a few whiskey aficionados that will dig this. Got the Blanton's, the Blanton's bar. Look at this, a whole whiskey bar. Across from the whiskey bar is Glomar's, a whiskey paradise. That thing is packed full of what I would assume to be duty-free liquor that you can take back on the ship. Just a word to the wise. Watch where you're stepping. These roads are tight and definitely could uh, trip a little bit. Don't trip. So I feel like you could go over another block and do some more shopping, but I think we've kind of seen the gist of the shopping. So uh, jewelry, clothing, souvenirs, the whole nine. I think let's make our way back to the beach and then back to the water taxi. See what's on this side of the beach and then we can explore the port a little bit. Uh, Celebrity Reflection looking beautiful. I'm still not forgiving you, Reflection, for booking up the whole hop on, hop off. I mean, I know it's your prerogative, but. So here's a look at the side of the beach if you went left off of the water taxis. Looks like more bars and restaurants. Right here is the Caribbean Blue restaurant that Carib is the official beer. A lot of that being served. You got the Double Dutch Cafe, the market. And then of course you got the beach. Looks like this bar right here has a rum punch to go. This, so you got a pool day pass for 20 bucks, but is the pool even that nice? That's the question. I tell you. Let's, oh, look at this pool. Infinity pool to the edge. What is, is this Loca fam? Loca fam. Loca fam for life. What's your guys' name? Paul and Jackie Molden from Ottawa, Canada. Oh, is this, uh, is this weather compared to Ottawa? Is this uh, like this in Ottawa? Uh, well. You put a minus sign beside it. <laughs> minus sign, yeah. You guys having a good vacation? Yeah, it's great. We're staying here at the Sea View Beach Hotel. Oh, did you fly down? No. Uh, oh, that's cool. And, uh, we're in one of the nice suites on the corner there. It's fantastic. The staff here is great. Man. Uh, yeah. I don't think you could have picked a better uh, hotel with a view. It's a great view. Wow. Well, it's super nice to meet you guys, and uh, thanks for showing me your pool. It's cool. There's local fam all over the world, and look, you could be a part of the local fam. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything, and then we're family. Local fam for life. Uh, those folks are enjoying a great vacation here in St. Martin. All right, ship nerds, take it in. A beautiful shot of both cruise ships today. Celebrity Reflection Carnival Pride. Even though I'm angry at the Celebrity Reflection, I'm gonna get over it by the time we get back, I think. But uh, yeah, what a look. Like I said, a lot of European influence here. The Dutch Blonde Beach Bar, Corny's Beach. How about this spot? The Thirsty Pirate Beach Bar. You got all the motifs covered. You got the Europeans, you got the pirates, you got the locals. It's a great sign. Free Wi-Fi, 
would purchase Great Eats if you go this way. However, if you go this way, maybe sharks. Maybe sharks. That's pretty fun. Like I'm not one who's inclined to spend a day in the sun, but uh, if you are one that's inclined to spend a day in the sun, this seems like a great way to do it. Seven bucks over to this area, get yourself a beach chair, have some drinks on the beach, get yourself some lunch, uh, and explore. Do a little shopping. It's good stuff. Even more cigar opportunities, souvenirs, t-shirts, Cuban cigars, Del Sol, Omega. All right, go get back in line for the water taxi. The big question, what side of the water taxi to sit on to get a good view of the ships? These are the things spinning through my brain as I wait the board. It's gonna be the far side over there, right? Don't you think the ship will swing back? Go that way. I don't know, we'll see. So apparently any side's gonna be good, but I think I chose this side. So hopefully we get to get see the ships. Another nice feature of the water taxi is they do sell uh, drinks here. So you could get a beer or you could get water. I, I'm not sure what else they have, maybe soda, but uh, dollar for the water. So. Uh, can cool off a little bit on the way back. Here we go. A little Bob Marley in the background. We are in the Caribbean. One love. One love. Here we go. Hello. Hello. If you don't have a wristband, you will have to pay five dollars at the ticket booth when you get off the boat. Okay. And just like that. We are back to the cruise port side of the bay. But the uh, seven bucks, that's that's a great way to get over to the beaches there in Phillipsburg. Uh, seven bucks and a couple dollars in tips. Those guys are working hard, but I really like the combo of the seven bucks and maybe $20 for that pool, pool access. That could be a really great beach day if you don't want to get in the ocean water but you still want to see the beach i don't know let's uh let's take a quick swing around the rest of the port all right we're almost back to the the main strip when it comes to the cruise port take a look to the left all right guess we got the k's fine jeweler got an effie store effie's all about the free pendant This is kind of how they reward you for coming in and shopping. Milano got a free pendant. Yeah, got a little roti shop. I don't think I even know what that is. Chicken roti, beef roti, goat roti, shrimp roti. Kind of looks like a, I don't know what that is. I have to look it up. Got sodas, which is good. And then you got a little straw market. So you can get to all of this stuff without taking the water taxi. This is on the cruise port side. The spice shack. T-shirt sale. Oh, nice. And another big St. Martin sign that you can get your picture made in front of. Another cigar shop. Of course, if you've been watching any of these adventures to the Southern Caribbean, and I'd recommend it, I've been to Aruba, and to Curacao, Barbados, Antigua, you'll notice that all of the cruise ports do a decent job of having stuff for you to do, even if you don't feel like adventuring out. I'd recommend adventuring out, but uh, if you don't wanna do that, you just want an easy day in port, most of the ports got you covered with food and drink and shopping, Wi-Fi, that kind of thing. Uh, this is one of the nicer ones though, for sure. I just noticed this, they do have a scooter rental here. I'm not sure all the places that you can go on this, but it does look like they could do some some traveling. It doesn't say you can't take it on the road. I wonder if you can ride these on the road. I don't know, scooter rental. And then uh, there appears to be a shuttle that would take you down the pier. This is a shuttle stop and then the shuttle is right there. So yeah, that's nice. If you don't wanna 
don't feel like walking that pier, which I know that feeling, uh, you can jump on the shuttle. All right, this seems like a great place to bid adieu for today. Celebrity reflection, I forgive you, I love you. Uh, my heart's with the Carnival Pride. Uh, three more days on this ship until I'm done with this journey, but it's been an amazing journey to the Southern Caribbean. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've seen all of the videos. They're linked in the description if you want to catch up. Thank you so much for watching this. Please subscribe if you want more of these adventures. And man, I hope you're having as good a day as I am. This is Tony in St. Martin for La Lido Loca. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.